In this video, we are going to discuss the circular scan or the C scan disk scheduling algorithm. And this is a variant of the scan disk scheduling algorithm that we discussed in our previous video. When we talk about disk scheduling, we are referring to the read write requests that have been sent by the processes to the secondary disk and how these requests will be scheduled or handled. In the C scan disk scheduling algorithm, the head will move from one end of the disk to the other. So let's say the disk, the head is over here currently at track 0. So it will move from this end towards the inner side of the disk and it will service all the requests on the way. That means if there is a, any request, any read write request for this particular track or for any track over here or for any track over here, then all these requests will be serviced as the head will move from this end to the other end. Once it reaches this end over here, it will immediately return to the beginning of the disk. So after it has reached this end, it will go back again and start from all over again from this track 0. But on the return back, it will not service any request. In scan, it was servicing requests on the way back also. But here in C scan, no request will be serviced on the return trip. So this kind of provides a more uniform wait time. And how is that? Let's see. So let's say while the disk head was moving towards the center, currently let's say it is over here at this particular track. Now let's say there is a read write request which comes for this particular track. Let's say it comes, this request comes at time t0 and then another request comes at request time t1. Now this request at time t1 has come later than this request at time t0. Once the head reaches the center, if it starts servicing requests on the way back while it is going back towards track 0, then it will be servicing this request which came later as compared to this request. So this is an unfair wait time that is being awarded to the request. But in C scan, since no requests are being serviced on the return trip, it goes back and then starts all over again from the outer to the inner or from the inner to the outer the way it might be configured in any disk. So this kind of provides a more uniform wait time. So we will take the same example that we have been taking for the FCFS and the scan disk scheduling algorithm. So the requests are for these cylinders. If you can don't understand what cylinders are, you can check my video on the hard disk earlier. But let's assume this is referring to a particular track on a particular platter. So the request is for cylinders 98, 183 and so on. We are assuming that the disk head is initially at cylinder 53 and the requests are scheduled when the disk arm is moving from 0 to 199. That means currently the head is over here at 53. This is 0. Let's say this innermost track is 199. So the head is moving from 0 to 199 and currently right now it is at this track 53. So now how the these requests will be handled? We are already there at 53. So if we are moving inwards from 0 to 199, that means the next track that will come on its way is if you look at all these requests, then the next track that will be encountered would be 65. So 65 will be handled first. So here it was at 53. Now it has moved to 65 at the next timestamp. And by in doing so, it has traveled almost 12 cylinders. Then from 65 to 67, because we have to note that it is moving from track 0 to the innermost track of 199. 
So 67 would come next that means an additional 2 cylinders. Then from 67 to 98 this gives a cylinders of 31 cylinders. Then from 98 to 122 which is 24 cylinders. Then 122 to 124 which is 2 cylinders. Then 124 to 183 which is 59 cylinders and then since it was traveling from 0 to 199 it will go to the innermost track which is 199 which is so 16 cylinders extra. Once it has reached 199 it will go back to the outermost track which was 0. So it will go from 199 to 0 traveling almost 199 cylinders but it is not servicing any request on the way back even though there is a request for 14 and 37 but it is not servicing those requests. Once it goes back to 0 now it will start moving again from 0 to 199. So on its way now 14 will come then 37 will come. So, so that means 14 cylinders and then 37 means 23 cylinders. If we add all the cylinders that have been traveled, so if you add 12 plus 2 plus 31 plus 24 plus 2 and so on, we get a total head movement of 382 cylinders and each request is given a fair amount of waiting time. So this is the C-scan algorithm in brief.